Hey everyone, thanks for joining. In this video, we're going to create a simple customer journey for the segment we made and also the marketing email we've created in previous videos. So let's go to customer journeys here in the outbound marketing module in Dynamics 365 for marketing. And then what you're going to do is click on new here. Uh, skip the customer journey templates. They can be very useful though. And at, inside the designer tab here, um, where it says, whom do you want to be on this journey? Or AKA your audience, click on the plus sign. And then <clears throat> the default source type is set to segment, but notice how you have updated contact info and, or submitted a form. Just leave it on segment. That's our scope, our use case. And then from the lookup, click on contacts that are located in Redmond, AKA our segment. Once you've set that as your parameter, you're good to go there. And then right here, go ahead and click this node and click send an email. For the email lookup, select our marketing email we worked on. That's what the email looks like. You can make it bigger if you want, so you can take a look at what and see how it works. Okay. Email elements, we'll talk about that in later more advanced videos, just like we will in more advanced customer journey videos as well. Um, schedule, we're not sending this, it's a one-time blast. We're not sending it on any other day other than Thursday, which is today. Set this to mornings, leave it like this for now. Today, right now it's 9, 19 a.m. I plan on sending it very soon. For expiration, leave it alone. Description, you can add a description here if you would like. Go ahead and save this. Okay. Then um, for click this little uh, carrot and name your journey. Email blast journey. Number one. And then for your start date, what you can do here is we're going to set this to, let's see, let's set it to nine, twenty three a.m. Okay. Oh, I did. I don't think I did it. I, I totally did not. And click save. There you go. Okay, now go to general real quick. Super important. This end date and time, just leave it alone for now. But make sure you change your time zone to be your actual time zone. Mine central time. Save and close. Publish this thing by hitting go live. And remember, in our segment, we have four members. So while we're waiting for this thing, it's live now or it's going live. We can refresh here. Yeah, it's live now. So our journey started. <clears throat> our milestone is 9.23 a.m., which it's not 9.23 a.m. yet, but it will be. Um, what will happen is in our insights, what we wanna see is up here, email delivery results. But remember, in our segment that we had created for these contacts that are located in the city of Redmond, we have these members. And these members here all have email addresses that I own. So um, we want their first name to be mapped like Kevin, Paul, Test Contact, Yvonne, and so on and so forth. So 
Um, my, my, my main email is going to be this one. So I should say, you know, Kevin. So we'll take a look at that. Um, so really what we want to do is just take a look at our journey, monitor it based on the insights. find it interesting why it says November 8th. Let me make sure that I didn't botch anything here. No, we're good. Some sort of systematic glitch. Oh, that's when I, I think that's, that's not even when I got the trial for dynamics, but it's probably some hard coded date based on when I got the trial for dynamics or something like that. So that's trying to give us insights based, based on this date somehow. Not sure why. Interesting. So it's past our time. Oh, look, it sent an email to four. Let's take a look at this. Or they're queued, they're queued. So look at this, they're queued. Okay, I like that. That's helpful to know. So we should, we should start getting some emails pretty soon. The key one I'm going to show you once it's delivered is going to be the, uh, the one that's going to Kevin, which is my email address, my primary personal so we want to see the processed one here. So let's see, there's only four emails. So how long will it take for the service to run? And one thing you can check in the settings is um, right here, so domain authentication. I want to make sure that, yep, it's confirmed. Just want to make sure that it'll let me Let's go back, take a look. Let's go back to outbound marketing. Let's go back to our journey. Okay, so it's still queued. And you know, this is a bulk service. So just like any other platform that competes with Dynamics 365 marketing, even Click Dimensions is, is very popular. And I've worked with it for actually more than a decade um, or HubSpot. Those services queue up whether you're sending 40 emails or 40,000 or 400,000. And they that's just how they work. So they prepare to send like they're sending 10,000 at a time. That's just what they do. So um, it can take a little bit of time. So let's just kind of give it a little bit of time and 
once it once it hits the processing stage, hopefully we don't have any issues and then we'll go from there. It's only been four minutes in reality, so that's not a lot of time in the email marketing world, right? Especially if you were sending to like 500,000 contacts that day. And what's essentially happening is there's a cloud service through Microsoft that's being leveraged here to make the API calls to, to, to send all these emails. So you're not having to, you're not having to, um, use like send a grid or, you know, um, you know, any other kind of, um, email delivery platform. It's, it's all just managed through Microsoft. Um, and as long as you're compliant with, you know, like GDPR and, um, you're and that's why your consultant, um, needs to be your dynamics 365 marketing consultant needs to be on top of their game to help you with your subscription management policies. Um, your opt-ins, your opt-outs, um, how you set up your emails in terms of the governance, um, and all of that. Um, <clears throat> that way you don't get blocked because you don't want your IP address to get blocked, like your domain. Um, that would be the worst thing. You want your, your, you want your emails to get delivered at least, I don't know, 90% of the time is great deliverability. Um, if you can get higher than that, even better. But um, you want your um, your emails to get delivered to your your pr prospects, your clients, and so on. So you don't want to get blacklisted um, by anybody if you can avoid it. You're going to get blacklisted sometimes, um, and and that's just going to happen because some people just do you know they'll flag you, um, whether it's manually or or just by proxy, but um, that can't be avoided. All right, so we're still queued. This is kind of like the, this is kind of interesting. Right here, you can see like the metrics at a more granular level. So in progress is 100%. So we're literally in the in progress phase. Processing is 0%. We haven't hit a processing phase at all. Queued is definitely happening at the same time. Um, so we're completely in a queued phase as well as an in progress phase from a job standpoint or a journey standpoint, and that's just kind of where we are until further notice, right? And of course, me with my impatient nature, I'm just sitting here like, what's going on? It's been, you know, eight minutes now. It's been eight minutes. It's a journey actually executed. So what's going on? Help me understand why I can't get more. Give me more. Give me more data. Because if when it hits this processing stage, it's either going to tell me that there's something wrong with like my email address, which I hope not. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be wrong. There shouldn't be anything wrong with it. But because um, it's on like this pseudo Microsoft domain thing. But um, uh, 
if there is something wrong, then I want to go go ahead and just fix it. Um, but if if not, then I just want to see this thing run. I want to see it run and get that email and show you. This might be the longest time I've waited on any video for anything. So it is a little bit, just a tad bit frustrating. A tad. I won't lie. But it's okay. We'll deal with it. Oh, I just got the email. So let's take, let's re, do a refresh here. Let me show you. Thank you so much for your patience, everybody. Let's take a look here. So, dear Kevin, as a valued member, you have the ability to create cases, blah, 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 blah. Contoso came from Alex Ontiveros at this pseudo, you know, domain that gets instantiated and then I can click this link. I'm going to actually click the link because I want to see if it does something with the insights. Cool. All right. Obviously remember the link didn't go anywhere. I made it up. Um, I guess this is where it takes you when you create a fake link, Contoso link. <laughs> That's kind of cool. All right. So let's see here. Let's refresh. This doesn't seem to have updated quite. Let's see. That's really interesting. Um, okay, but that's fine. Insights. Are we sure about that? Let's refresh this again. I guess it can take a little bit more time for the insights to come over. So let's just, we'll, we'll, we'll get that in another video. That's perfectly fine. But I got the email and it looks wonderful. It looks absolutely spectacular. And it came exactly to the right person. Phenomenal. Thank you so much for waiting with me. It was painful, but uh, it was worth it was worth waiting. Um, very much so. I really wish it would actually show the data here already, so you could see it. And I was hoping maybe the click on the uh, that would show here. But that's okay. That'll probably show with a little bit more time. Okay. Thank you for watching. Happy holidays.